Coach, you've mentioned many times how much you love this university. Has this situation uh, affected your relationship with the university and perhaps your longevity here? I, I have a great relationship with our president. Um, Gene Smith, our, you know, I'm as close to Gene Smith as anybody. And, um, and th this, to me, has never been a job. You know, when I was, uh, I took a year off, I wasn't planning on coming back coaching football. I was asked by Gene and the president at the time, uh, Ohio State was going through a hard time. And uh, uh, part of my family didn't want me to coach again. And I came back because of my sincere love for the state. I grew up here, uh, played high school football here, played college football here. And I love the school. I have a master's degree from Ohio State. My love is unwavering for Ohio State, uh, even more so now. Uh, my apologies to Ohio State. My apologies, I made a mistake. And, and I do, you're gonna hear this throughout this several times, that my apology uh, is not for turning uh, back to domestic violence. I just want to be so clear about that. The report clearly states that. And that was a very thorough investigation. Uh, if I paraphrase the findings is that uh, they respect our sincere commitment to respecting women and that if I was ever aware or made aware or told that there was domestic violence taking place, I would have fired them immediately. My error is and I've been accused of this before by giving people second and third chances. And I saw a guy with work-related issues that uh, had two children and an ex-wife that he needed to support the way a man's supposed to support him. And I went, you know, and I was suspended for the fact that I went too far in trying to help a guy with these work-related issues. So to answer your question, my love is stronger forever than this university.